Jello. The Ordinary's 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. <sighs> I need to take a breather. Today's aim is to see if I was to take the Ordinary's famously well known serum foundation and mix it with the rose hip oil from the Ordinary. What kind of result would we get? What would happen in the end? Would we look fabulous? Oh, okay, so the hue is like a transparent yellow. And then if you were to put that on my hand. Oh, okay, so it's more on the yellow side and it is very runny and liquidy. And then when you blend it throughout your hand, it just turns into like a very oily consistency. So what is the Ordinary's 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil? So for anybody who doesn't know, rose hips are a plant that grow, I think, like pinky white flowers on them. They also grow fruit on them too, which have seeds in them. I mean, like, duh, cold pressed rose hip seed oil. Rose hip oil is a form of vitamin A. It is supposed to be very moisturizing. It is supposed to be very nourishing. Oh, I literally despise that word. So rosehip oil, I learned, is very effective because it is full of antioxidants. Antioxidants are known to help with dark spots, dry skin, and help reduce any fine lines. And I know that's why a lot of people have been reaching out for the rosehip oil. Well, I mean, like, obviously because it moisturizes your skin, but it is also a very good anti-aging property to add to your skincare routine. Yes! So why mix? the rose hip oil with the Ordinary's serum foundation. Like, why would I do that? What's the point? So by adding this little bad boy to this little mixture, we are adding deeper skincare properties to our foundation routine. If you were to add any oils to a foundation mixture, you are basically going to shear out that foundation. And by that I mean it is going to look more like everyday. Um, it's gonna be very more lightweight. It's just gonna look like your skin, but better. Now that you get to see my true, authentic, genuine, pimply, red, acne skin, let's begin our mixture. I've talked about the Ordinary Serum Foundation <laughs> literally plenty of times. So we're going to give the both colors a good shake because we're going to mix them together to create my in the moment right now shade. Holy moly, I keep losing my damn breath. So I'm going to take first 2.0 YG, the yellow golden undertone, and I'm going to... So now we're going to take 2.1 Y, so just the basic yellow undertone, and we're going to add that to the mixture as well. Let's take a couple drops of the organic cold press rose hip seed oil and add it to kind of make the foundation a little more lightweight. And just for fun, we're going to add some cute little skincare properties so that way our skin is not breaking out. So with a dropper, you're going to kind of just one, two, three, four, maybe five. So with the back of any brush, I'm using my NYX um, 04, I think it's just their regular stippling foundation brush. We're just going to mix everything together. And it's actually looking kind of pretty. So just taking any finger, make sure that it's clean, girl. Just take a few of the product. I don't want to, like, use a lot. Well, I mean, like... We're just going to start blending. Let me zoom y'all in so you guys can kind of see what the foundation and the rosehip oil together look like on the skin. I am freaking super pleased with this result. I was so scared when I was like mixing it together. I was like, okay, like why does the rosehip oil look so kind of like weird with the foundation? But after you blend everything together and mix it in like a smoothie, on the skin, it looks so gorgeous. Keep in mind, I did not use a lot of product because I wanted this to be very lightweight and very everyday. And I think I did use like a little more rosehip oil than I did foundation. So this is mainly right now like the rosehip oil working on its own. It's giving me this very like dewy look, but not like dewy as in like wet, dewy as in just like healthy. Like my trouble spots mainly revolve around like my T-zone where I have the most pores. And it didn't really accentuate them, and I'm so happy because I do not want to look like a freaking crater face. 
So what are my overall thoughts with the Ordinary Serum Foundation being mixed with the Ordinary's 100% Organic Cold Press Rosehip Seed Oil? I love this product. I'm very impressed with the fact that you could use this on its own to kind of nourish your, nourish your skin um, and like push aside all that dryness. Or you can mix it with your makeup because it is very like water-based so it's not going to like give you that thick like finish. And on top of adding this to foundation, you're giving yourself skincare properties and you're giving yourself like a very healthy everyday like glowing look. The Ordinary, you are killing the game and I'm being completely serious. A lot of people think that certain things like this can just be like, no I just have to use this for skincare, like it's just like skincare. But no, you could literally add this to makeup, you could do anything you want with The Ordinary and that's why I love it because it's so versatile. For anybody that's watching, if anybody is ever watching, um, I will catch y'all in the next video. Did you buy else?